Welcome to Computer Science 320 2014 Winter 2's Midterm 1 Practice Problems. We are on problem 6, pairs of apples and oranges. For each of the following, we're supposed to indicate the most restrictive true answer of f of n is in little o of g of n, f of n is in big O of g of n, f of n is in big theta, f of n is in big omega, and f of n is in little omega of g of n. Okay, so we've got a bunch of ugly functions below and we're supposed to compare them. Let's just go through them one after another. Uh, we've got log of n to the square root of n. Well, the first thing we should do is we should take that power of square root of n out. So we get square root of n times log of n. Uh, over here we've got 100 n minus log of n, uh, but n asymptotically dominates log of n. So this is a low order term. This is just a constant. So we've got n over here, and we've got square root of n times log of n over here. Uh, and it turns out that it doesn't matter how many logs we multiply into uh, n to the 1 half. Um, n is still going to dominate it. Generally speaking, even n to the uh, epsilon, where epsilon is some constant greater than 0, uh, that dominates uh, log of n. So log of n is in little o of n to the epsilon. Okay, so I just know that, so I can say this is little o here. I could also prove it. Uh, I would do the usual thing. I'd take the ratio of these, so I'm going to put n on top. I'm going to put square root of n log of n on bottom. n divided by square root of n, that's just square root of n over log of n. So I'm comparing square root of n to log of n, but both of these go to infinity. So I'll end up taking derivatives. So this is uh, n to the 1 half divided by log of n. n to the 1 half, the derivative of that is going to be 1 half n to the negative 1 half, so that's 1 half times 1 over the square root of n. So that'll be the derivative of the top. The derivative of the bottom is kind of disgusting, but I know that log of n is some constant times the natural log of n, and the derivative of the natural log of n is just 1 over n. So the derivative of this is going to be some constant divided by n. So we're going to have this on the top, and we're going to have this on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to end up with uh, 1 over 2 square root of n divided by c over n. And that's going to put n on the top. It's going to put 2c square root of n on the bottom. We already said n divided by the square root of n. That's just the square root of n over 2c. This is some constant this grows. And so this is going to approach infinity as n approaches infinity. And that means that the top dominates. The bottom is little o of the top. The top is little omega of the bottom. And that's what we already figured out. We've got a little o here. And uh, boy, we should really emphasize that this is little o, shouldn't we? Maybe we should write little here. Okay. 2 raised to the n over 2 versus 3 to the n. Uh, well, 2 to the n is already an element of little o of 3 to the n. We've seen that before. So 2 to the n over 2 has got to be an element of little o of 3 to the n. Uh, but I, I wonder, just as an exercise, how would 2 to the n over 2 compare to 2 to the n? Uh, this would be 2 to the n times 1 half, uh, and that is 2 to the n raised to the 1 half. Uh, that's what that's not what we want, that. I would rather have 2 to the 1 half times n. That is 2 to the 1 half raised to the n, which is the square root of 2 to the n. And that will be dominated by 2 to the n. So just as an exercise, this one is in little o of that one. So yeah, dividing by 2 makes it asymptotically smaller in the exponent. So this one is also little o. Uh, the log of 4 to the n versus the log of 3 to the n. Well, let's bring those exponents down. This is n times the log of 4. Log of 4 is just 2, but it doesn't really matter that it's 2. It's just a constant, so we can get rid of it. This one is n times the log of 3. Log of 3 is just a constant. We can get rid of it. So we've got n over here and n over here, which means that's going to be theta. But wait, there's more. Ew. Okay, the natural log of n times the natural log of n plus 1 versus n. Um, 
you know, we've we've already seen this above, actually. If, if we like, we can think of this as square root of n times square root of n, and then we're kind of comparing square root of n versus natural log of n, and square root of n versus natural log of n plus 1. We already know square root of n dominates natural log of n. Natural log of n plus 1, that's not going to change things sufficiently to make any difference. And so this one is going to dominate the left-hand side. So this is going to be little o. And this last one... Oh, the square root of n to the n versus the square root of n to the n. So let's write these out then. Uh, the square root of n to the n is n to the n to the 1 half, and the square root of n to the n is n to the 1 half to the n. Uh, this is equal to n to the n times 1 half, and this is equal to n to the 1 half times n. Those should look pretty similar, uh, so these are theta of each other. They're actually the same thing.